Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets on the Friday, the 10th of June 2016. And be sure to visit tradesignal.com and where you can get your latest signals and market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignal.com, and you can download via the Google Play and the Apple App Store as well. Okay, in terms of markets this morning, certainly very, uh, very confusing. Um, to, to a large extent, given the uh, sell-off uh, has not been led by a potential spike in the euro or a spike in the yen. Um, now, Aussie and Kiwi certainly remain stable as well. So, certainly very, very confusing, the uh, the actual sell-off this morning. Now, apparently it's been attributed to the, um, the bad loan crisis in Italy. Now, again, can you really rely on that news, given the fact that... Uh, I mean, the banking sector certainly is down, uh, regardless. But given corporate bond buys, given the ECB's QE program, the whole concept was uh, that uh, those concerns would not be there. And, and if they are there, then they're certainly getting tackled as well. So it's, um, it's certainly confusing, okay? It's certainly confusing to see the market sell off to that extent, especially with regards to corporate bond buying and QE in the background. And yet QE certainly isn't having that effect at present, or there's some sort of lag, okay? Also, uh, it's uh, given the fact that oil prices, if I bring up the chart of oil for you folks, let me just bring up the uh, chart of oil. Okay, so oil now uh, has pulled back off that 51.4 uh, gap fill resistance. You are now coming into uh, diagonal trend line uh, support on the uh, chart of oil. The four hour clearly shows that you are coming into previous resistance equal support. So therefore looking at a potential bounce and the 60 minute chart is into that 200 MA as well. So approaching previous resistance equal support. So certainly looking for higher prices on the uh, on the chart of uh, oil. Uh, OK, in terms of crude, certainly looking for higher prices there. OK, so um, in terms of the rest of the market, in terms of economic data this morning, uh, the FTSE 100 certainly um, helped by uh, stronger construction uh, data and although inflation expectations certainly seem to be uh, hurting the FTSE to a large extent as well inflation expectations coming at two percent therefore rate hike, uh, rate hike concerns certainly uh, hurting the FTSE and we also had construction data coming in stronger than expected German inflation uh, certainly uh, coming in line uh, CPI on a month on ba month basis at 0.3 percent. Wholesale price index certainly came in stronger though. Uh, so again, that's one to watch. Wholesale price index certainly came in stronger. So keep an uh, a keen eye on that. Uh, group Brexit fears certainly Brexit Brexit fears certainly seem to be doing the rounds this morning. Although they have been ignored for the last two weeks, and all of a sudden everybody remembers Brexit today. Mm. Uh, circumspect, okay, circumspect. It certainly seems that the bad loan news from Italy. But uh, the uh, bad loan certainly increasing by 3.5%. Non-performing loan certainly increasing up to, I think it was 200 billion now, I think it is. Okay, so that, that, that news certainly is uh, net, net negative on the markets. But a lot of that has been factored in now, folks. Okay, so bear that in mind. A lot of it has been factored in. In terms of economic data for the remainder of the day, you are looking at... Uh, Consumer sentiment and monthly budget statement out of the US, and that certainly seems to be it. Okay, and the rest will be focused on the uh, bad bank and uh, rest of the variables in this market. Now, uh, the Aussie certainly is holding well. The Kiwi certainly is holding well. So those two, there are two variables that are holding well in this market at present. Now let's look at the technical picture now and uh, see exactly what's happening uh, with regards to uh, the uh, the actual uh, European stocks. Now, as you can see here, quite an impressive sell-off. Uh, we gap lower. Uh, I expected this 2980 level to hold. I was actually along the Eurostox from that region uh, and uh, certainly failed to hold. Uh, I got stopped out and I'm actually re I've taken the long again on the Eurostox. Potential bottoming tail being put in here at the moment. I did expect that diagonal trend line to hold, but that certainly hasn't been the case. Uh, but again, Eurostox certainly into support. So looking for a potential move higher here. Okay. The uh, daily chart, let's just bring up the daily chart for you. You are into diagonal trend line support on the daily chart. So therefore, looking for a potential bounce on the euro stocks based on there. Looking at the uh, DAX now, let's bring up the German DAX. German DAX certainly, as you can see, uh, a very, very impressive, impressive flush. I did expect this inverted head and shoulders formation to actually play out, given the weaker euro, given the fact that we've dropped below 1.13 now. 
and therefore I was expecting a potential sell-off and that hasn't been the case okay so again uh, the market certainly um, <clears throat> selling off on the back of the the uh, bad loan news okay uh, unfilled gap remains at uh, 10 0 80 so potential target there if you do flow thrust higher from here then you are looking at uh, 10 0 50 the first level of resistance you do have previous support equals resistance here as well so those are two zones of resistance and then obviously gap fill okay uh, in terms of the german dax on the 60 minute chart just bring that up for you as well Certainly putting in a potential bottoming tail here, looking to bounce off this zone. <clears throat> if the market does continue to sell, then you are looking at 9750. Now, we we have had a strong economic data out of France this morning. So again, that certainly supports the strength and the revival in the Eurozone. So that certainly is something to consider. Uh, the uh, daily chart of the German DAX is into diagonal trend line support. So therefore looking for a potential bounce here. Okay, so we certainly seem to be making some sort of symmetrical wedge at the moment and all eyes on that symmetrical wedge okay so the french cac let's bring up the french cac for you uh the french cac certainly sold off as well you have the unfilled gap above now and that certainly will remain the target 60 minute chart is still in no man's land potential support is seen uh, in this zone although you have the unfilled gap at 4280 so again open mind daily chart of the french cac certainly in no man's land given the fact that we failed to hold previous resistance equals support uh, even though we had stronger economic data out of France today, this market certainly st uh, still uh, managed to fall. So again, it's certainly a cause for concern, and I've been stopped out of my long position as well at 4332. Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100 now, I'm looking for the FTSE 100 to break out this bearish channel uh, and looking to uh, thrust higher. That's my interpretation. 60-minute chart at the moment, the FTSE, as you can see, certainly held support at that key 6128 level. And therefore looking to bounce now i'm actually currently long on the footsie looking for potential move higher to 6150 6160 6180 so again all eyes on the uh, footsie 100 for now the 10 minute chart the footsie at the moment like i said we're looking to break out of this bearish flag and looking to uh, thrust higher the daily chart is into that 200 ma again okay into that so horizontal support again so again this uh, this zone is very very important and therefore I expect it to hold especially given the fact that oil prices are now into support the Aussie Kiwi still remain bullish uh, euro and uh, yen no major concern there in terms of the movement so therefore looking for a move higher okay uh, I think that's a market wrap be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that 25% uh, bonus offer for all new trading accounts goodbye now.